I recently discovered that one of my cats, probably Calypso, has been chewing electrical wires. This is dangerous for her and must be stopped. What to do about it, coming up. Yeah. My name is Francisco and welcome to 9 Lives to Live, where I and my three cats, Calypso, Skyfall, and Mr. Muffin, help you improve the lives of your indoor cats. I have a small computer plugged in at this desk, but I haven't been using it very much lately. It's next to a window the cats like, so I keep the desk open so they can jump up. I know Calypso likes to sit at the desk. She uses it like a little cubbyhole so I thought nothing of it. But much to my surprise, I recently found out that one of the cats has been chewing the computer cord. And not just a couple of bites, they're really chewing it up. You can even see the blue cord inside. I started to look around the house to see what else might have been chewed, and you guessed it, quite a few wires had teeth marks. You probably have surge protectors and power strips like this with a lot of wires coming out. And look over here where all my hard drives are plugged into my computer. My guitar, amp, pedals and stuff. And in the workshop, more wires. Phone chargers are a particular problem and this shiny end here, just the kind of thing my cats like to pick up in their mouths. Everything is plugged in so it has power running through it. I don't know how I'm going to keep them away from everything. It seems like an impossible job. So what is the real danger here? Can cats get electrocuted or shocked? The short answer is yes, the danger is real, but I have not found any specific data on how many cats get electrocuted or shocked every year. So why do they do this? They are curious and just want to investigate stuff. They're bored and it's just something to do. They like the taste. They like the way it feels. It must be a little bit like gnawing on the sinews of a mouse or something. They could be stressed from things like a changing routine or loud noises and chewing alleviates the stress. They could have OCD, they could also have problems with their teeth and chewing is a little bit like teething. Habitual chewing starts when cats are kittens and tends to be most common when cats are two years or younger. So what happens when a cat gets an electrical shock? Basically the electrical current runs from their mouth to the grounding source, which means it goes through their body. How lethal that is will depend on many factors, including the length of the shock and the strength of the electrical current. An electrical shock causes excessive heat, which can damage nerves, it can damage tissue, it can damage blood vessels. Electrical injuries can show up as damage to the mouth. You can look for singed whiskers or singed fur around their mouth. Excessive drooling or hesitancy or refusal to eat because their mouth hurts. A shock can also lead to fluid in the lungs and high blood pressure in the arteries around the lungs. These types of problems show up as coughing, decreased energy, difficulty breathing, a rapid heart rate, muscle tremors, and bluish skin. I'm not a vet and this is not medical advice. If you're watching this video because you think your cat has gotten an electrical shock and it's displaying some of these symptoms, take your cat to an emergency vet. Only your vet will be able to determine the cause using tests like an EKG. If you actually see your cat getting a shock, do not touch it. Unplug the device if you can do it safely or turn off the circuit breaker. Of course, the most important thing is prevention. So what can you do to stop your cat from chewing wires? One of the main causes is boredom. So start by giving them more to do. Play with your cats more. If they are chewing from boredom, that will help alleviate the problem. They also make rubber chew toys for cats. The more they chew on a toy, the less they will chew on your wires. But also discourage or prevent chewing. Check every wire in your house for signs that it has been chewed. Cover exposed wires with these tubes, uh, which can be found at Home Depot or any big box store that sells these kinds of things. These fit around your cords and give your cats less access. They have a slit down the center and will accommodate several wires. You might just have to tape them to keep them in place. They also make specific coverings to keep pets from chewing wires like Critter Cord or Chew Safe, but they tend to be rather expensive. Cover the wires in a flavor they don't like. You can find this type of repellent at the pet store or on Amazon. This way you are sure that what you're putting on there is not poisonous to cats. Apparently cats don't like uh, citrus smells, lavender, uh, strong smells like cayenne pepper and things like that. I have read cat advice suggesting garlic and menthol, but be careful with homemade remedies. Garlic is very poisonous to cats when eaten, and menthol when licked or eaten is also very poisonous and attracts some. Before applying the spray, I put electrical tape on some of the wires to have more than just a couple of tooth marks. I decided not to spray directly on the wires because I was concerned how it would affect my floors, so I decided to rub it directly onto each wire. But before I did that, I wanted to test it a little bit. Neither Sky nor Calypso were interested in chewing or licking these wires, but I can't say it was because of the flavor or because they felt uncomfortable. 
but when I tasted it myself, it was really, really sour and sort of disgusting. So I think this type of application will do the trick. Cats also don't like the feel of double-sided tape, so you could wrap that around cords they are attracted to. Put away chargers instead of leaving them plugged in, and definitely don't leave them plugged in and dangling. That's like leaving a live wire for them to play with. Replace or repair any wires that have been mangled, and if you're not sure, just replace it. It's better than having your house burned down. Also consider unplugging things that don't have to be plugged in all the time. But if your cat has been shocked or electrocuted, what are the chances it will recover? If it's a mild shock, it will recover from the burn. The more serious the shock, the more medical complications there will be and the more time it will take for them to heal. Your vet will be the best source of information on prognosis for your cat if it has received a shock. Thankfully, I caught this before my cats got any shocks. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching and check out one of the videos on the side here.